Hello, I'm Michael Boyarchin, and I'm going to be uh, doing another book reading from uh, the uh, magna opus of Armenian immigration written by Gary A. Kalanjan, a social historian and a genocide scholar. The title of the book is A Kaleidoscope of Armenian Immigration to America, Origins of a Modern Diaspora. So let me read the uh, selection and... Uh, Let's begin. Just over 100 years ago, my father, Krikor Kalanjan, a.k.a. George, came to the United States from Ankara, Turkey, which was the Ottoman Empire. He was a young Armenian immigrant seeking refuge and security from the Ottoman Empire. He was born in Ankara <coughs> circa 1905. From his recollection, he was approximately... 14 or 15 years old when he arrived at Ellis Island in New York on June 7th, 1920. The SS Pannonian was the ship he traveled on to the United States. Many ships crossed the Atlantic from many places and to several ports in the United States, but Ellis Island was considered the main port of entry by ship. The Kalanjian family, like Many other Armenian families in the Ottoman Empire lived in the lands of their historic kingdom of Armenia. Renowned historian Richard G. Havoven Hovanichin wrote the people in the villages and surrounding region of Ankara, Angora were originally from Kesir or Kasaria and were Turkish-speaking. Many were skilled craftsmen engaged in the production of pottery, textile, leather goods, and carpets. In some, others were professionals, goldsmiths, and some made uh, bastama and sujaka, which were cured beef. Balinkian was the maiden name of Krikor Kalanjan's mother, Shakanar. The Kalanjan and Balakian families originated in Kayseri and lived in Ankara before the outset of World War I. The Armenian Genocide took place during the war that followed Ottoman, the Ottoman regime's massacre of the Armenians early in the mid-1890s. That's enough for now.